Belinda, there's there's no chance that anybody listening to us at this point would call into question the value of 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 this type of intervention. So now the question is for virtually everybody listening to us, they don't have access to you and they don't have access to your clinic. Um, so what what would what would be the advice for the men and women who are coming coming to this discussion or who want to send this, you know, people listening to this who want to send it to their parents or, or or loved ones who who really are showing up and are in the same state that the women were in at the beginning of your study. How can we take that person and provide them with the safest environment to go forth and conquer? Because again, if you're saying all you got to do is 30 minutes twice a week of this very, very specific type of lifting protocol, which is again, very straightforward um, in, in concept, uh, obviously in technique, it requires execution. How can they go about doing that? Who, who would you recommend they see? What type of individual to coach them? So um, there's, there's levels uh, to that answer. And without being a you know, turning this into an advertisement for for Oneira, which is what the program is called that we deliver through the through the uh, the bone clinic. Um, you know, this is we because we get that question all the time. The minute I opened the bone clinic, everybody wanted the program, and the problem is, I didn't want to initiate a, a, an avalanche of fractures for people doing the program and hurting themselves. So we decided to license it and provide that program to physiotherapists, what you guys call physical therapists, and accredited exercise physiologists, all their equivalent. And we have licensed, there's probably about 60 in Australia at the moment and a growing number overseas now. It's just starting to take on in the US, but it's, you know, I'm, a, I'm an academic, so I'm not a salesperson. I don't sell this. People come to me and I'll, and I'll, you know, that's how they get it. Um, the be very best way that th this, the training for that is a very comprehensive six hours online. You must have these qualifications to do it. And then you're ready to deliver it to your patients in your clinic uh, as long as you have the gear. And, and they've always got access to me and a lot of supportive information to do that safely. And the reason I want physios and EPs to deliver it is because they have that background information that I was telling you about, that clinical training that allows them to look after the millions of different comorbidities that are going to come into their clinic. So tell us again, Belinda, just to make sure everyone's hearing this, and we'll link to it in the show notes, but the what's the name of the program? Where can somebody go as a, as a, as a exercise physiologist or a physio to become accredited in this program? Yeah, so that's a, it's a, Oniro is the name of the of the program and they just need to Google Oneiro, Oneiro Academy. O-N-E-R-O? That's right. Okay. Yeah. Um, and the, yeah, I can give you the Oneiro Academy. Yep. Um, okay. Website. We'll link to it. Yep. Okay. So, so, it. so it's a, this is not something that the patients go to. This is something that the trainers go to, to become accredited. So if, if a person is listening to this and they want to be trained, can they go to that site and find out where the accredited people are? Yeah, or we'll go to the Bone Clinic site and we host a map. And if you zoom in on your area on that map, you'll see a little little red tag. Okay. If you click on the tag, the contact details of that Oneiro provider will pop up. Now, as I say, at least in the US, not a huge number of them at the moment, but a, the demand is so incredibly high in the US really um, the best thing that you could do if you were in that situation and you wanted to go to an Oneiro provider is go to your local um, PT or um, or kinesiologist, exercise physiologist, some equivalent, and say, okay, you need this program. Here's the website, contact Belinda, and I can get them licensed and they can, away they go. It's For me, it's research. They, there is a a way for them to contribute to our research program. I give them access to our database. I'm really interested in making sure that this works, not just in our hands. Mm. And so that's part of my research. But for them, of course, it's a revenue stream. So it, it is a win-win for them. For the patients who cannot convince anybody to do Oneiro, then 
the the next best thing would still be to contact the bone clinic. We can do a telehealth uh, appointment with them and give them our very best advice for a program that they can do either at home or at a gym. If they're not, if they don't want to do that, then the next best thing they can do is just go to the gym and get some gym program. Just anything is better than nothing and start lifting weights and try to get some supervision because if you've got a T-score of minus four, I'm not comfortable with you training by yourself. So even if you're not doing O'Neiro, get somebody to look after you. Mm -hmm. Um, So those are the sort of three levels. If you can find an O'Neiro provider, do supervise O'Neiro. If you can't, call, uh, email the bone clinic and we'll we'll do a telehealth appointment and get you a program that you can do, uh, which would be, the, the very best that we can come up with that you could do unsupervised and then the next level down just get yourself to the gym with someone supervising you and do some weights of some kind i guess i'm going to add a fourth one which is i've been to the gold coast many times it's absolutely spectacular i think a mm-hmm. trip to australia is never a bad thing maybe maybe scrap the telemedicine visit and just take a two week vacation to the gold coast and uh, get some time at the clinic, maybe. We'd love to see you. Actually, the clinic's in Brisbane. I live on the Gold Coast because that's where Griffith University is, but the yeah, clinic's yeah. just up right. Well, well, Brisbane's Absolutely. gorgeous as well. Mm-hmm.